they targeted Wilf on their aging fullback. Just keep taking him on. He'll get booked or he'll get sent off. Get out the fullbacks as much as I can, really. Zaha. Beautiful trickery to take him away from Cassetti. Cassetti again getting too close to Zaha. They moved him four times to try and get him away from Wilf. I don't know how on earth Cassetti hasn't been booked. It's again Cassetti wants to mix it physically with Zaha. It's been the wrong thing to do. I don't know who's been on top in that particular duel. Put him left back, put him right back, put him sweeper. And I just said, stay there. And my lads knew. And we kept feeding Wilf. And what happened? Phillips to Zaha. Again, totally outwitted, outfoxed, clear penalty. He knows, he knows who's going to take it. Would you have wanted anyone else to take that penalty? You couldn't have a better player to take that responsibility. If you want someone to take a penalty against his old club and not worry too much, Kevin Phillips was perfect. If there's one person you want on that field to take a penalty, it was Kevin Phillips. You know, this is his occasion. Funny enough, I felt as calm as anything. I don't know why, I don't know if it possibly could be my last game of my career, why I get nervous. I just felt like as soon as that ref blew the whistle, I, I wanted to take it. Uh, actually, Maric tried to take the ball off me for the penalty. Absolutely not. Like, you know, no way. Like, Maric, what a good guy, but like, but he's very emotional and, and then a fabulous strike of the ball. Andre would have probably scored it, but when you got someone like Kevin in the building, like, he's getting it. When it was a penalty and big Kev stepping up, no chance. And we knew Almunia, he had a favourite side. And I thought, he's not going to try that because he knows Almunia is going to go that way. He was so confident. Ollie was making us practice penalties in the week leading up to it. And I just remember Kev Phillips standing on the, on the side of the 18-yard box kind of laughing at us. Like, I remember him saying to me, he goes, you can practice as many times as you want. He said, here, it'll make no difference to you. You can never replicate that, he said. And uh, that's why I don't want to practice penalties. And he didn't practice one penalty. Ice cold veins, it was just the man for the occasion. Massive game. Massive penalty, an extra time. This is this is Kevin Phillips. As soon as I put the ball on the spot, I wasn't focusing on the noise. Once I looked up at the goalkeeper, I could see loads of gestures from the Watford supporters. It was kind of like a deathly silence. I went into a zone. I just had it in my head where I wanted to kick the ball, and as soon as it left my foot, I didn't expect it to go where it went. Seeing it from our end, I thought, well, man, it's buried that keeper got nowhere near it. He got quite a bit near it, didn't he? I never actually saw the penalty go in, I was facing the other way. I remember just looking down, kind of couldn't really see the big screen, and then I saw the Palace fans cheer. The relief when Kev scored. Even though Almunia went the, the right way, that was how confident he was and how good he was in those circumstances, under pressure. It probably turned out to be one of the best penalties in my career, and I didn't actually feel nervous, which was weird. Is this to be the day that the Kevin Phillips story, the extraordinary story that it is, starting off in non-league football, gets the happiest of endings? And maybe at the age of 40, he will be playing in the Premier League one more time. It's there, touching distance, 15 minutes away from the Premier League. From the moment we scored the goal, I remember turning to Bright at one point and saying to him, I can't breathe. <laughs> 
I actually can't breathe. The pressure was so great. Well, it looked like Crystal Palace they seemed to lose their momentum. Just one win in their last 10 games, but they have gathered themselves in some style. Oh, what moments for this man, Steve Parrish, who led the consortium of Crystal Palace supporters who rescued the club from the brink. Successful businessmen, they admit themselves that it didn't make any business sense to get involved with the club that they've loved since children. But it's all making big sense now, you can bet that. There's an awful lot of football still to be played. They've got 15 minutes, Watford, to do something about it. Strap in. The fear then starts to spread round. It did seem like a long 15 minutes. Though. It was going on and on and on forever. So painful. What about this for a pass? Clever movement from Phillips, but the diagonal ball, wonderful. Talk about big players in big games, and he has been really, really up for this challenge of getting his boyhood team into the Premier League and signing off in style. Speroni out in double quick time. And once again, excellent goalkeeping. Everyone just hit another level, everyone rose to the occasion. As we are talking about Wilfred Zaha, but also two central defenders, and Yedinak in front of them. Absolutely monster games they've had. A lot of pressure and a lot of like emotional strain gets put on you. And that game going to extra time, and it was hot that day as well. I remember it was like 30 degrees. Damien Delaney, at the start of the season, thought that his football career was done and dusted. And he's moments away from being back in the Premier League with Crystal Palace. It's an aerial bombardment now. Ward dives out, closes that down, hits him right in the stomach. And another piece of danger been seen off for them. We were defending for our lives. It's getting increasingly frantic as Hayho tries to bulldoze a route through. Forestieri, still Forestieri! I remember spinning my head round, it was happening in slow motion. I thought, oh my God, that's going to go in. I saw Jules was, was over. Yeah, I was beating with that one. It felt like it took a minute for it to happen. And there was that moment. It looked like it was going in the corner. No, no. <sighs> and then Wardy's fat head came out of nowhere. Just <laughs> Please, I was in the right place at the right time. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing there. He was in the wrong position, probably. <laughs> Cleared off the line. I was absolutely delighted. <laughs> so important, that uh, piece of defending. Off the line by Ward. Would you believe? It's a fantastic effort, and that really epitomises Crystal Palace. They've been exceptional to a man, they really, really have. Right, get out, get up, this is our moment, and let's seize it. Deeney, just right, Deeney thought he'd done enough. This really is last chance saloon for Watford now. It's a Gabidon clearance. And Mooney is up from the goal as well, the 122nd minute of the match. happy that the club is going up, feel like we belong there, we worked hard enough and I was just so happy that I was glad to be part of history really, being in that team that, that brought Palace up and it was just about the team. The happiness, the lift weighted off your shoulders, we finally, well we should have been a long time ago, we are now a Premier League team, yeah it's an incredible moment. Well how lucky were we to be able to witness that. I just slumped to my knees because I knew what it was going to mean for me. But having done it there with that group and with Crystal Palace, something that I'm always going to be proud of. Did I ever think I would play with Kevin Phillips? Kevin Phillips, who I used to watch on TV, not a chance.